Hello, folks. Hi, folks. Last Sunday evening, we put out a taste test video uh, where we tried Turkish Delight, and no one got angry at us. <laughs> so we thought we would go ahead and maybe tonight, another Sunday night, do a taste test. And in, in, in anticipation of that, we were at, yesterday, we were in Dahlonega, Georgia. Dahlonega is a, a tourist town. And of course, you can find things in tourist towns that you can't necessarily find in your own hometown. And we found some treats in Dahlonega and we bought them and brought them home to try. And these range from mild to slightly wild, at least in my opinion. I, I think, it, nasty. I think in, in Tammy's opinion, <laughs> there, there, there may, the other end may be a little more extreme, but we'll see where we go in this. She is a game little gal out here to try this with us tonight. Uh, you have no idea, but we're going to start off with something mild tonight, okay? Now, when we're in, every time, pretty much, I would say, that mm. we go to Delania, we stop mm -hmm. at a place called Paul Thomas Chocolates. Uh, they are ch genuine chocolatiers. Yeah. They make their own chocolate from a recipe that they developed after years of working in the, in the candy industry. So the chocolate there, you, you can tell the difference. It is quality chocolate. It is really good. We have to stop in there and get us a little something yep. every time we're in, in Delonica. And uh, they have recently started branching out and making things that are not necessarily just uh, your regular uh, truffle candy or, or something along those lines. And so the first thing that we try is chocolate covered potato chips. I'm sure some of you have already tried these, but some folks may have been curious of exactly what they're like. Well, we're gonna try some quality ones from uh, Paul Thomas Chocolates and let you know what we think. Here you go, honey. Cheers. Mm. Good. I think it Real goes good. without saying that these work. Um, if you've ever tried a chocolate fountain anywhere, not everything you put in a chocolate fountain is necessarily sweet. They're not all Rice Krispie treats. Sometimes there's like slices of bread, something savory. Combination's good. Yeah. The savory is in there. The chocolate is really good. What kind of chip would you say this is? I, I'm, Pringles. I'm, you think it's Pringles? Mm -hmm. it, yes. You know, it actually... Texture. It actually looks like a Pringle. It's got the uh, the texture. You can see the uh, the little ripples or the little bumps in the chip that comes from Pringles. So yeah, they're really good. They work really well together. Okay, folks. The next Delonica delight that we're going to try is chocolate covered bacon. That is a long strip of bacon. Yeah. You want to split this one? Yeah. Okay just to, to show you the innards. That is actually some good old bacon in there. I'll try this one since it's been waved around. Here we go. I like the idea behind this. I'm not crazy about it. I'm not crazy about the actual, I think, brand of bacon that they've used and it's Maybe heavily it's salted bacon. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I hate to say that they, their chocolate is really good there but very good chocolate but who knows they may be um, going down to Costco and getting the stuff that uh, they were about to, uh, to wheel out the back okay Tammy's gonna tap out of that <laughs> I'm gonna finish mine okay folks here's the part of the video that Tammy has really been anticipating <laughs> uh, this is where we cross the line from the chips, I would say, were, were kind of mild. The the chocolate covered bacon was Nasty. a little avant garde, but but it wasn't really wild. I would say we're gonna step it up a notch. Um, the Delonica General Store, as most general stores in tourist towns do, sells novelty items, and uh, one of the ones that we saw that that uh, caught our attention was uh, these earthworms, which are actually uh actually worms and um here they are they are as you can see very festive uh looking little worms i i think someone at, at a board meeting uh, might have brought up gummy worms 
and uh, attached it to, to this concept. But uh, we're gonna see just how much these worms uh, taste like gummy worms or if they taste like actual uh, things that crawl in the dirt it and live like off of it. Um, which Give color would you like? One. Pink? <laughs> I'm going to go with, uh, with green because that's the color I, I generally associate with, uh, with worms anyway, dirt, <laughs> earth, anyway and they didn't have any brown ones, that would have been chocolate. So here we go, Tam and I are about to eat an earthworm. <laughs> I don't want to do this. Hmm. Crunchy. Well, they got, and they got sour, yep. Sweet, mm. sour, and earthy. They have actually gone out of their way, really. I just to, took it like a peel, I can't. They've gone out of nasty. their way to, uh, you just took it like a pill, you didn't chew it? Yeah, I chewed it, but it was nasty. I don't like gummy worms. <laughs> she called them gummy worms. <laughs> and these are actual <laughs> worms, so you can see just how far the manufacturers yeah. went to uh, to replicate the, uh, the gummy worm experience. Talk about your cost-cutting measures in the factory. <laughs> Another novelty item that is sold at the Dahlonega General Store <laughs> for those who wish to eat more exotic fare is crickets <laughs> now i i fail to understand do do crickets actually hold a a, a copyright or uh, on their name cricket i have it on good authority that all these insects were humanely harvested uh, they were gathered from insect shelters all across the united states where they died of natural causes like old age or, or falling off a ladder uh, the rest of them were uh, picked up on the side of the road as Tammy spits a little worm <laughs> into the dirt next to our patio. So, um, yeah. here are the crickets. As you can see, these are not candy. These are uh, actual, let me get one out of the package for your pleasure. These are actually, these are actually humanely harvested crickets, died of natural causes. You do not have to worry about Tam and Mike terrorizing the insect world. Uh, what's interesting about these particular crickets is they are, uh, <laughs> <laughs> they are, uh, bacon and cheese <laughs> flavored crickets. They also had, I think it was, uh, uh, salt and vinegar. vinegar. They had some, some flavors that made sense that might have actually made the cricket taste a little better, but I, I, I kind of figured that bacon and cheese on a cricket was about as disgusting as you could get. So that's what we went with, so. Oh, I'd read this. So Tammy, would you like I to- I don't even want to touch it. You want me to feed it to you? Yes. I've got to, to feed Tammy her cricket. She won't even bite her own hook when we go fishing. So I shouldn't have expected this. Let me find it, this is a small one. And I think the legs already fell Break off it of half. it. The legs already fell off of this one in the package. <laughs> Here's mine. Mine's got legs and all. I'm holding it, my legs. Here's I don't Tammy. want the whole thing. Tammy. These folks have <laughs> sat here for at least five minutes putting up with this crap. We have to eat okay, these crickets. Okay, let's get this over here with. We, here we go. Oh, here comes a juju. Oh, over the lips and through the gums. <laughs> eat that cricket. Ugh, it's kind of tasteless and crunchy. I have been told ah. uh, our daughter um, actually has tasted cricket before that had none, <laughs> none of the delicious bacon and cheese uh, seasoning. And I use that term very generously, seasoning. <laughs> Tammy is going to eat chocolate now to get the taste of cricket out of her mouth. Well, folks, as you can see, we have a lot of worm <laughs> and cricket left after our experiment. Tammy, what do you think about the insects? We're, uh, l let me ask you first. Was it as bad as you thought it was going yes. to be? It was that bad. Mm -hmm. Was it, well, it? It's, it's the texture, it's the texture. Mm -hmm. The texture is a little off-putting. Mm -hmm. uh, legs, thorax, mm -hmm. it's not something uh, you're probably used to, uh, to tasting or cheap biting into. But it is a little off-putting. But the taste, um, if it was not for, in, in the crickets, if it were not for the uh, for the the seasoning, uh, they would be tasteless. They would dissolve. They would fall apart in your mouth like uh, an autumn leaf uh, with no taste at all. But 
you see we have some left. Yeah, you ate them. All right, folks. By now, if you've watched any of our videos, you know that uh, I can be a thrifty man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe in throwing anything away if I can get any use out of it. So we have a few of the worms left and we have a few, whoops. One of them fell on Minus the table. One. We have a few crickets left here. So what I'm going to do is you have at it. <laughs> Pop them all in my mouth at once. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Some good cricket. Christ. Christ, Christ. Those little legs get caught in your teeth. Oh. And folks, finally, to, to finish up this snack, these are actually... They have uh, the uh, the sour and sweet gummy flavor to them, but the texture is just crunchy, a, a tiny bit different than your average uh. gummy worm. <laughs> Crunch, wormy, and it really underneath the uh, the sugar and the sour, there is an earthy. <laughs> really an earthy dark flavor so folks there's your mild to wild sample of the unusual fare available in Dahlonega Georgia where we visited yesterday a great place to go great chocolate shops they have a really good fudge shop there yeah. too fudge is a really special occasion for us because fudge is really sweet, sweet. so that's that's when we were really craving something sweet but they have an excellent fudge shop there uh, we've had fudge from a lot of different places so it's really good. So for now, I think Tammy needs to go and brush her teeth. I need to get back to the sideshow. Thank you for watching us tonight. Until next time, bye.